What's up, Square Guy? Back with some more Let's Play The Talos Principle. So, I am like five videos ahead in this game with the backlog, and I'm also playing another game at the same time, so that's like uh, a week and a half. But I just want to keep playing it so much! So I'm gonna play it. We are now back in the desert temple. I'm going into number two. The field of view is narrowed all the way down to as small as it can be. And hopefully that's gonna help with my motion sickness. If not, then we'll increase it up to as large as it can be like the, the internet suggests. Um, right now, it is late at night. I should be going to bed, but I just wanna play this game so badly. What's up? Science magic. Ooh, this will be good. Though the term science has only meant what it does to us for around 600 years. 600? Really? Its practice far predates the name. There's evidence pre-Aristotle, which indicates soothsayers, mystics, and the like, may have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. Oh, I see. Um, but like 600, did it, wasn't the, wasn't it just a, wasn't it less than that, that science really started? Or pre-Newton, I guess. Uh, I'm thinking of Newton was a few hundred years ago, but I guess science was science before that. One anecdote concerns a palm reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning in vague description, delivered authoritatively, was given a name, the Forer Effect. Today, it is recognized in all contemporary psychological theory. Uh, I thought it was called the Barnum Effect. Is that something else? Um, yeah, I, I was thinking it was going to say something else, but yeah, I... Don't really have comments on that. Cool stuff. Arcady Journal. Fascinated by Drennan's project. Lovely conversation. Re Talos Principle. Greek philosophy. Relevance to current situation. We're in Egypt now, though. Suggested naming project Talos. Drennan refused, but name seems to have caught on with the team. As it does. Tens of thousands of files coming in every hour. Our whole history. Weight loss. Oh man, if there's e one thing that's good about inevitable death, it's the food. Yeah, baby, I'm going to have all the horribly unhealthy food in the world. I'm going to feast on jelly bananas like a crazy monkey on monkey Christmas. Jelly bananas, is that a candy or is that a reference to Steins Gate? Which I don't like, by the way. <laughs> and you know, those muffins that have so much chocolate, they're basically melting. That's gonna be my breakfast. And burgers for lunch. I'm gonna have burgers so greasy you could use them to lubricate a whole factory. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties. And an oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and jalapenos and sour cream. Food coma, here I come. Is this someone who is, uh, has been told that they're going to die in like a week? Or is it someone who is, is, uh, just realizing that they're going to die in like 80 or 40 years and has decided to just eat a bunch, to, to live their life eating a bunch? Because that's, like, there, there's, there's other reasons to be healthy. Like, there's reasons to be healthy even, even though you're going to die. Oh, hey, look. A time capsule. I keep having these dreams. Great empty cities. Silent roads stretching for miles. The earth from space, all dark. Not a single light to guide me home. But if someone really came from another world, what would the earth look like to them? A wilderness? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, they'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. They'd see the cities and the roads, the bridges, the harbors. And they would say, here lived a race of giants. These dreams, they scare me. But they also remind me that we built 
all of this. <laughs> I don't know which one to write. Am I going crazy? The computer pros programs to a personality. Yeah, so the idea um after humans are gone, there's gonna be results, and it's sort of you know, this is sort of suggesting evidence that this is very late, although I'm pretty sure that's not it. The sky looks really nice. Nice full moon. But way bigger than the real moon. Um, but yeah, also if aliens came like a million years from now, they would be able to know that we were here because they could dig for fossils and find fossils of plastic. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, we are now in the geological age called the Anthropocene, which means we have not only have we built on the surface of the earth, but the geological record is going to preserve the fact that we were here. Man on the moon. Ah, yes, we have fans now. Time to see if there's fall damage. Whee! Nope, no fall damage. <laughs> what else is there? There's another... There's another one? Um, why are there two? It's just options? I've hit something? I don't know. Just options, I guess. Or, uh... I need to bring something. Ah. I think I know what I need to bring. This. Ha! Ah. All right, man on the moon is down. I got an achievement for that. All right, next puzzle. This looks like it might be a short world. I'll try to keep going so we don't have another 17 minute video. That's uh, going to be the, the shortest one on the channel. Higher ground. go up here. I also figured out that I can aim these through the purple. So that's something I figured out in the last video. There's another one there. Just looking around. What have we got? Ah, uh, we needed to do two. Okay, that one's not the one to get to get. This is higher ground. If I go up here, where can I see? That one. That's not the only one I need to go to. That one. Wait. No, what I, I need to Oh, is there more stairs? There are more stairs. Huh. So let's jam this one. And go up here. I didn't even see this. Where do I want to put it? Here. I can also jam through the trees, apparently. And I get my keys. And next I can go through here. Or here. Let's go through that one first. What do we got over here? We have the locked door. And there's another one. No surprise. Epitaph. Child program terminated here. Worshiped the designer for a lot of days, then allowed the serpent into its heart. Final memory dump. I asked the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in the eternal memory. I guess someone met their end here. Seems we're all connected somehow, like distant family relations. Different versions, different series, what are we? It's sheep again. Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling motion sick at all. So but we've only been going for a couple of minutes. Um but I'm not feeling anything at all. Part, part of it could be from uh practice, you know, cuz I've been playing this game and editing it. Is there a bomb right here? No. And part of it could be the feel of you. I think is more what I'm used to for videos and stuff. I know. This looks like a door. It's not not an intangible door. Um. Oh, what am I? Oh no. Oh, I don't need to open that one anymore. So I can bring it over here. Oh, there's another one. Um. So there was another one over there. I think I can get it from up there. Let's try this. Can I get this one? Uh, I can, just barely. There we go. Now we can we can take this one and put it here. Okay. No, I don't think we can get through there. <laughs> okay, here's what I can do. Um, drop this here. And uh, jam this one. Now take it and get you hang back for a little while. Is that good? I think that's good. Now what do we want to jam? We got three we want to jam, a fourth one. I don't think there's any way to get these into here. Here's what I'm gonna do. At that. At this one. Now see if I can hit that other one from up here. Oh no. Wait. I can hit this one. Okay. Looks like we good. One, two, three, Do I have to start all the way over from the beginning? Looks like it. Alright, there's this. And then, oh. Oh, wait, yes, yes, this is it. What am I saying? What am I thinking? Easy. Win. All right, puzzle number two. Let's move on to another one. We got both of them this way. Let's get this one. The tomb. That was a good Stargate episode. <laughs> okay, so I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils. I just don't get why. 
Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world of his has no context, no purpose, no foundations from which to construct them. Um, how about solving the mystery? That's a good purpose. How about unlocking new areas to explore? That's a good purpose. You don't, like, you don't need a reason to have a good time. Like, I'm playing the- I don't know what the purpose of me playing this game is, but I know that I'm enjoying it. That's good enough purpose for me. I'm convinced there are answers here if we look hard enough. We have to work together on this. So who's this? Are these two having a conversation? Dog and sheep. <laughs> Alright. This one's holding this open. Are we gonna need to come back out here? I don't think so. So it's just a free jammer. I don't- why? Why? Is there a reason for this? Oh, maybe for the star? Hey look, a laser. <laughs> And here is a redirector. What do we call the jewel, or I don't know. Can I hit multiple? Like, can I see it? No. Can't see that one. I can only hit one of these. Um, let's hit this one. So that we can take this through. Cool. I might need to get that crystal in here. Which I think I can do. Yeah, I can do. Is there another laser in here? Uh, no. No, but I can bring the jammer in here. You know what? For good measure, let's keep that one open, too. Haha. <laughs> Strats! Who needs this? And I even kept that one open, which I didn't need to. Is there anything I can aim at from here? No, not that I can see. Yeah, I have a feeling that sometime there's going to be a puzzle where I have to aim a jammer through one of these into another door. Okay, I just went over there. What do I have left? That's the one I did. Oh, it's booping. Is a serpent coming back? Here's what I've been wondering while you were off carrying out commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system. Arrange bits of matter in the right order and out springs sentience. That's all very well on paper, but if what counts is what something does, not what it's made of, then couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans on strings that qualified as being conscious? <laughs> um, this is something really weird to think about, but... You know, I have thought extensively about something very similar to this, and my answer is yes. What a bizarre idea. I'll send you a notification when the signposts start complaining. <laughs> uh, like, um, yeah, the, the classical exa uh, thought experiment, I think. I, I don't actually know where I heard this, but like, you have a, a billion people in a desert, and every person is watching a certain number, a certain specific number of other people, and, and based on whether they're raising flags or lowering flags, you, if you're participating in this, raise or lower your flag, then you can make 
a computer or a brain out of that. <laughs> and the question is, would that be a conscious being? And I I think yeah. You know, it's a weird view, but I think I think that is what consciousness is. Seriously though, are the tides and ecosystem sentient as well? Any organized system qualifies? Uh, I'm not any organized system. I'm relieved there are at least some restrictions. Do not think what... I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Have faith in me and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. Um... Uh, um... I, I, don't, I don't really get why they're fighting each other. Um... I think, I think it's just the serpent wants us to not find stuff and to go to the, we'll go to the tower, obviously. Um, but like the, the metaphor, I get the metaphor The the serpent wants us to, to think and find knowledge and Elohim wants us to follow instructions and not think too much about stuff and have faith and believe. All right. So I'm going to read the rest of this and then exit. Um, I, I, I'm relieved at least some restrictions on what you're prepared to believe. And of course, an alternative, the alternative accounts are all so ridiculous you'd be forgiven by any reasonable observer choosing the best of a bad bunch. How consciousness can be so intimately familiar to you and yet so obscure, I just don't understand. And then after Al started speaking, don't mind him, he's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me, and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to think a bit harder about all this, and get back to me. I'm sure there's still progress to be made. Terminating session. Now, I, I was starting to get worried earlier that this game was actually not as profound, or, or, or I wouldn't learn anything or get to talk about like really cool ideas that it would just be like intro philosophy course stuff but we're getting to some cool stuff about consciousness moonshot I'll take you Is not blowing. There we go. There we go. I have an idea for what to do. This is so cool! And also really easy. I'm looking around to see if there's a star hidden here because I would very easily just do this and, uh,. <laughs> And, and and walk away without paying attention to what's happening. Well, I could... Could check out what's up there. Yeah, I stand up and I get to look around. There is a star in this world. I haven't seen any sign of it yet. Neat landscape. Wonder if it's in there or something. Nope, that looks like it's impassable. Looks like there's no world generated after that. There we go. Now I take this one, this box, and put it on the pressure plate. There we go. Now it opens and I can go in here. Yay! Climbing on the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, is that all the puzzles in this world? 
We've been here for less than half an hour. Is this- is that this- this world cleared? Aside from the star? It is. Heh. Alright. 